All right. Uh, we'll. I usually try to do something I've never done in making it so that we learn together. And today's no exception. We're going to make creamsicle. You know what creamsicle is, right? We've all grown up with creamsicle. Orange sherbet and vanilla ice cream mixed together. Well, I do make creamsicle at the store, but I make it that way. I make it swirled together. But today, Steve uh, invented something. I, he didn't invent it today, but uh, he has come up with something, and I thought we would try it. It's this. This fits perfectly in a six-quart container. So what I thought we would do is make a two-stage creamsicle. First, we'll make orange sherbet, and we'll put it in one half. Then we'll make vanilla ice cream, put it in the other half, and then remove this. And when the girls scoop, they just simply scoop appropriately or, or whatever, and you get creamsicle in your cup. So I thought we'll give it a shot. This is a neat little thing. Uh, you have different sizes of these? Uh, no, just for the... Uh, right, that's what I thought. They come in one size, and one size fits all six-quart containers. So we'll give it a shot. I've never done it. We'll see how it works. Now, the, we have two things to make. We have vanilla ice cream and orange sherbet. Uh, which first? Sherbet. Why? Um, after watching that, I would say that vanilla ice cream seems a little easier. Seems what? Seems a little easier from an ingredients perspective than the sherbet. I think they're all easy. This is, this is the most amazing business in the world. As we talked for two days about it, this is stupid simple. You make ice cream, which I've turned all of you, we had 13 in our class, and you all feel confidently that you can make world-class ice cream or ices now, don't you? Yep. They all had a, tr a try at the machine. They all made product, and it's simple. Shirley, you made product, and uh, not that you're different, but uh, you've never done it before. And you did it, and it was perfect. Not only did she make ice cream, she tore down the machine, she built up the machine, she put it back together. It's just, uh, it's a simple thing. So, uh, we are going to make sherbet first, but my reasoning is this. If we make the orange sherbet first, and then we go to vanilla ice cream, there's going to be a little residue in the machine of orange sherbet. And that's what I want, so that when we make vanilla ice cream, the vanilla ice cream is orangey <coughs> vanilla, adding to the experience of eating our sherbet. So although you can't taste this right away because we have to let it freeze to some extent, uh, you know what, we can, now, that, you want to eat something that we made yesterday? Should we take something out? Yes? <laughs> How do you know what we made yesterday? We made li licorice dirt ice cream. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we could eat uh, a slide, mystic slide. <laughs> we'll let that temper just a hair, although it's probably fine. Uh, grab another one. Grab a full one. Okay, are we ready? So here's our ingredients. By the way, I have a book for sale. Uh, where's my book? <laughs> where's the book? You have it? Okay. I have a book for sale right here. It's got the 20 some odd original recipes that started my store. And we made one of them yesterday. We made the coconut yesterday, which was outstanding. Uh, and chocolate velvet, we made that too. So uh, it's here, and it's uh, 50 bucks. Should I say that? No? Yes, okay. I okay. My uh, credit card. Or, or cash. cash, right. Um, okay, uh, it's normally 60, by the way, but he makes me sell it for 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the ingredients in our creamsicle ice cream, in the orange sherbet part, sherbet is cream ice. Have you heard of cream ice? Sure, well now we know what it is, but sherbet is cream ice. So let's start with the water. Wanna know how much? The, the recipe for, oh gosh, I hate to embarrass anybody. What's the recipe for cream ice? 
Oh, rats. It's 3 2 1. 3 2 1. It's hard to forget that for cream ice. Three quarts of water. Shirley, what's the two? Sugar. Two pounds of sugar. Three quarts of water. Two pounds of sugar. Boy, look at you cleaning up, huh? I found that if I don't clean up as I go, I trip over myself. Okay, we have, yes. Is there a reason you don't put the sugar in with the water and then just dissolve and throw it in? Yes, because I'm obstinate. Okay, so chemically speaking, it doesn't change anything? Chemically, no. It doesn't cause the way it freezes? No, but we do have different uh, opinions on this. Tell them what the manufacturer recommends. Well, you're the manufacturer. Oh, yeah, I am. You're, you're going to... The manufacturer recommends dissolving it in the water so that it's not to abrade the blades. Yeah, yeah. Which are going to last hooey. about six years. Yeah, hooey. Uh, but if you keep adding sugar, if you were in time... They'll last five years, 12 months, 11 months, and three days. <laughs> but then there's the manufacturer's recommendation. Look at these blades. These blades are astounding. And, and I don't make any money on selling these machines. This is, uh, hold out your hand. No. No. This, you're not going to, these, these are unbelievable. It's like brake pads. Anyway. Uh, Carl brake pads. Anyway, <laughs> my thought on that is that we have the greatest mixer in the world here. And like that, that sugar's dissolved. Like that. Okay, we have three quarts of water, two pounds of sugar. What's the one? Mix. One is ice cream mix because sherbet or cream ice is part dairy. Small part, but part nonetheless. When you, uh, no camera, all right. I'll bring it over here. When you order the, uh, the mix from a dairy, it comes in these boxes. And the boxes contain how many bladders? Two bladders. Each bladder is how much? 10 quarts. That's right, two and a half gallons. And they are just like this. And they're durable until you drop them on the floor. Then they explode. And then you've got four hours of cleaning up to do. So don't do that. So we need one quart of this, correct? Everyone agrees? <laughs> Anybody care? <laughs> one quart of mix, yes. I can hold it. Yes. I can't hear you, the machine's running. She was asking if it was a 10% mix. The what? Butter fat, 10%. Yes. 10%. 10 mix comes in, uh, well, gelato is like 8, uh, but ice cream starts at 10. So ice cream will be 10% butter fat, 12%, 14, 16, 18, or 22. The same thing. Yeah. See, that's a misnomer. I know what you're thinking. It was really creamy for 10%, right? It's the machine. It's not the butter fat. Uh, okay, so we've got three, two, and now one. Now, in a sense, we have vanilla sherbet, right, which we, we don't want. So we want to add orange. We want to make it orangey. So I'm 
I've been letting uh, a can of uh, FCOJ thaw out, and uh, we'll just throw this in there too. Now you don't have to do this. I just thought that, because we're gonna add some orange goo, but I just thought that orange juice, boy, you feel good, you're adding orange juice to it. And it's concentrated. We'll just add that. Minute Maid. Now is it Walmart brand? No. Is it Minute Maid? No. It's Minute Maid. Did you just get here? I didn't see you before. Okay. You have a name tag? All right. Now we're gonna add some of this because I like to kick it up a notch with orange flavor. I like a lot of flavor. And I, for orange, I like Hartley's. Hartley's Orange, available at Restaurant Depot. And we'll add a little bit of that. So we have three, two, one, orange juice and this. And Javon, what are we gonna do now? Freeze. Oh uh, yeah, turn on the freezer. What are we gonna do before we turn it on? Taste, Taste it. it. Taste it. Let's see if it's what we want. This is the beauty of making ice cream. Is it all science? No, it's art and science. The science is your ingredients. The art is now tasting it and adjusting it if you need be. When Steve made his lavender, I walked over, I tasted it, I added more lavender. That's, it wasn't on his sheet, but I felt it needed a little more. And everyone is gonna make different levels of sweetness and flavor. That's your taste. Of course, it's perfect. So we'll turn on the refrigeration and you'll hear the compressor go on. You hear that? And that's all there is to that. <laughs> so any questions? Yes. Whenever you order the dairy mix, what is uh, like a minimum order requirement? A what requirement? They have like a minimum order requirement for you? Yes. When I first started, I had the small machine and uh, I didn't know anything, so I had to uh, have some dairy mix. And I called up the one of the two places in Florida and I said, I need dairy mix. He said, how many cases? I said, oh, I just need a couple of quarts. And after the laughter subsided, he said, you have to get a minimum of a few cases. I said, well, I don't need a few cases. I said, how about if I meet the truck and get one case? And he said, okay. So there I am, driving along the street, pulling onto the shoulder, opening my trunk, a truck comes up behind me, a guy grabs a box, puts it in my trunk, and I count out money and give it to him and drive away. And the cops were right there, right on me. I open your trunk. And I, I said, it's ice cream mix. And he said, right, hands on the hood. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill half of this with orange sherbet. Now, I don't think we'll, let me see, what did we have? We had three quarts of water. Two pounds of sugar. Forget the sugar, three quarts of water, one quart of mix is four, one quart of orange is five, and then a little bit of FCOJ, so a little bit over five quarts of liquid going in there. And this is a six quart container divided in two. So we're probably gonna get two out of it, aren't we? Yeah. Two of them. So we'll try two. We'll see what happens. Uh. 
I don't know. Yeah, there's a hair left in here. Let's get. Waste not, want not, right? Okay. All right, what else? Yes. So the dairy mix be uh, frozen? Yes, the we have dairy mix frozen there. So if I change the expiration date on it, it's going to fall that long inside of that Frozen, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. That is so hard, it's harder than rock. Do you change any of the No, no, I've never found it to. And what the, the problem is, it freezes so hard that thawing it out is going to take two days. If I have to make ice cream Monday and I didn't get a delivery of fresh mix and I tell the girls I need that, they take it out Saturday night and put it in the sink of water filled up over the, the bladders. And even then, by Monday, when you're pouring it, you still get some ice. Not ice, but frozen. Uh, but it's always best to have uh, delivery. But the delivery, you have to work out how much you're going to use, how much you need. You don't want to be short, but you don't want to be too far over. The, the, the expiration on it, always imagine you're going to the store and buying a quart of heavy cream and putting it in the fridge. When that goes bad, that goes bad. I find it's about 10 days to two weeks. Uh, and you, you want to smell it. Well, you, some, you may not want to smell it, uh, but always give it a smell. I, I'm in the habit of always smelling it because I don't know what they delivered. Maybe this was an old bag. <laughs> not the driver. Maybe it was an old bag uh, laying in the back of the truck or something. Woo. So is this uh, ready to scoop, you think? Uh, I think it should be. Where is the zero? Yesterday we made, uh, because we can't eat this, and I know you're dying to have some ice cream, uh, yesterday we made uh, Mystic Slide, which is like a mudslide. It has a little alcohol in it, uh, but not too much. Uh, so we can have some of that. It's, it's a good breakfast ice cream. <laughs> uh, an eye-opener. Okay. Uh, but first, I want to get these things in the freezer. After I make them, will you put them in the freezer? Uh, and let's see how these things work. I don't know. I hope they work all right. Looks like it might, but there'll be pressure against it. It's a good idea theoretically, right? Where did that uh, zero scoop go? There it is. I highly recommend you. Yes. How long would you be able to keep that in the freezer for? What do you mean? Like you said, you're going to freeze it. Oh, the mix or the ice cream? The ice cream. Oh, that'll... Don't worry about it. Yeah. 
Uh, but, as Steve always says correctly, if it's been in the freezer for six months, you made the wrong flavor. It's not selling. Well, he's smart. You know, that's, that's how to judge it. There are flavors that will move every day and flavors that will move every week. And then there are those duds that don't move. Brand new zero, huh? Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. We gave them out as wedding gifts. You what? We gave them out as wedding gifts. Really? Yeah. Engraved. Well, yeah, white ones engraved with our name on it. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Where are they? Uh, they're with all the guests at the wedding. Okay, now, let's see. Okay, I think we're ready to try this, uh, see what happens. Okay, we're gonna try it. I always wait for the compressor to, there we go. Okay, here we go. Well, that's what I thought. It might. But we'll see. But then when you put it in the freezer, it'll just push back. Why? Well, you, if it leans to one side, you just push it forward because the ice cream's really not Oh, okay, going okay. We named this the Great uh, Slade Harmon, my uh, vice president, who came up with this, named it the Great Divide. And then one day I was on a business trip, and I'm reading about uh, how this lady loved uh, uh, Bluebell ice cream, the Great Divide ice cream. I, they've stolen my name. So I did the research, and I found out they had it five years before we did. So don't tell anybody I stole their name. <laughs> now, you could do this with cardboard. That's uh, how they used to do that's it. That's how they used to do it, really. Uh, but cardboard attracts bugs and roaches and everything else I can think of to tell you so that you'll buy this one. <laughs> Okay. We got them. We could use this one and let them taste it. Oh no, we have. They'll taste that. Okay. They'll taste this when it's done, which will be later today. Yeah. Okay. Now there is some residue of ices left in the machine, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> how, how does this look? Is it um, treatment underneath? Yeah. No, it's, it's divided right. and clean. Now you said you have a oh, divider for one yeah, of these yeah, trays. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, a double. I feel like. Uh, no, a triple. Well, let's see what it looks like. Maybe because we don't have much, maybe we can use the triple. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I, um... Okay, and then I'll let you do your thing here. Now we're going to need that when we get the vanilla done. Okay, as this. Uh, but hold on, maybe we'll make a uh, a thing here. Okay, so now we have to make vanilla ice cream to go with our creamsicle, uh, to make our creamsicle. So, vanilla ice cream we're going to use, uh, well, how much, uh, let's go with uh, half. We'll use five quarts of mix. If, you're, if you have a 24, it's a miracle because one bag, a full bag, makes a batch of ice cream, and that's perfect. You never have to measure the mix or anything. It's all based on a bag. In my book, you'll see 10 quarts for the big machine and two and a half to three quarts for the small machine. It's a miracle. Did you want this? What? That's our um, mm. divider for gelato for Okay, let's flavors. see what we got. Well, let's put vanilla in one. Why not put I mean, that in the center and vanilla on either side? Oh, but you know, that's Some why you days. make the big bucks. Some days. The mind just clicks. Okay, why don't you do that while I'm making ice cream? You got it. All right, uh, ice cream. Five quarts of mix. Five quarts of mix. Uh, a handy tip when you're measuring, remember? Put the lines away from you so that you can see it as it fills up. 
That was what, a 30 cent tip, I think, or something? Which nobody paid me for. All right, five quarts a mix, which is a half a batch. Actually, we could always eat some vanilla ice cream if we have leftover, right? Everybody loves vanilla. Everybody loves it. Number, Number one, one flavor. All right, so we'll add this to the machine. How much did we fill? The center? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. Just a little and, more you know, why don't we put the vanilla on both sides? Gee, I'm glad you thought of that. Hey. <laughs> okay, five quarts of mix. And vanilla. My proportions on vanilla are generally one quart gets one ounce. One ounce to a quart. That's just how I always like doing it. So five ounces. And... Uh, what else? A little vanilla. A little vanilla. A little Tarani vanilla to give it a little punch. We're ready? We're ready. Did you know that when the football players on the winning team of the Super Bowl, they ask them where they're going, what are they going to do? Disneyland. And they go to Disneyland and Disney World, they Disney say. Disney World. They're paid to say that. Really? I had no idea. It's in the contract with the NFL. First my bubble. Well, you know. They, they, do it, they, they, just get, they get a free parade. They get a parade. And yeah. they probably put them up in a hotel there. Probably get to have so, dinner with Mickey and Minnie. Right. Not bad. Well, imagine having to do that. Ah, that's perfect because we have vanilla with a, a background of orange. So it'll go great with our orange sherbet, creamsicle. Uh, okay, we have that there. We have, what did you do with the, uh, the try thing? It's in the uh, freezer. With the, Here. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know where it is, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we are, uh, we're good. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> who doesn't have, by the way, just for kicks, who here is interested in pursuing a career in Italian ices? Two, three. Uh, the rest of you, ice cream? this working? Rest of you ice cream. Okay. Well, you're open, right? Could be anything. Good deal. Although in Minnesota, you try to sell Italian ices, they're going to lock you up. In Minnesota, Italian ices. First of all, they don't know what Italian ices are Mike. in Minnesota. What? They know ice cream. Mike, I'm pulling 114. All right, a couple of questions. What about custard? Someone had a question about custard? No? You, sir. Why did you measure your pistol? I just wanted to see that it was on the mark. I like to test my machines and see that everything's good. You would never have to do it. Uh, but I just wanted to see uh, where I am. So what range? Um, 108 to 117. 
I, if I'm a manufacturer, I do stuff like that. You all done? Okay, any other questions? Yes, sir. What would the uh, storage temperatures and building temperatures for the different varieties of high nitrate and high nitrate? Steve will address that. Hello, question. I'm sorry, what was the question? His question was, what are the different uh, storing temperatures for Italian ice cream, ice, and ice cream? Okay, ice cream, uh, ice scoop at somewhere between 6 and 8 degrees. Gelato's around uh, 10, uh, 10 degrees, 11 degrees. These are all in Fahrenheit. Uh, Italian ice, the way I make it, uh, and Jeff, sugar, water, and flavor, uh, 16 degrees. If you go, and my personal feeling is if you go into an ice cream parlor and you see six degree ice cream next to Italian ice and they're both scoopable, run like hell. Uh, there's a lot of chemicals in the Italian ice to bring retard the temperature down. So I use a separate cabinet. When you go into the kitchen later, uh, you can take a look at a, just a small dipping cabinet and we can turn that thermostat up to uh, 16 and it's ideal for Italian ices. What was the other product? Uh, it, as far as storing your product, your inventory, uh, the way I do it, Jeff's making it fresh daily and so he's not having to keep it very cold. Uh, I'm pulling as cold as I can get. Um, my cabinets will go to 10 below, but I'm not in the ice cream business. Uh, if I, I would like to get uh, uh, 15 below. Uh, I'm sorry? Negative 15. Yeah. Uh, negative 20 is overkill. Yeah. I recognize you saying you're not in the ice cream business, but you know, there's a lot of things out there talking about the glass freezer. Yeah. Versus just taking it and putting it in the bottom of a chest freezer. Mm -hmm. Jeff and I uh, differ on this, but I have come up with a, a happy medium where I think we're both hitting the same general concept. It's all about money. Um, if, if you call up one person, they'll tell you that it's going to cost you, uh, you know, if you call up one of these uh, gelato companies, they're going to tell you it's going to cost $150,000 to $200,000 to get into business. Uh, Jeff says one number, I say a little higher, I say maybe about $35,000. Uh, so at that level, my whole approach, and, and Jeff's is too, uh, if, if you're not in the business, you're not making any money. You're just thinking about it. But if we can get you into business uh, and let the business grow, as the millennials say, organically, uh, which I think means just let it grow. And as money's coming in, you can now spend money on uh, more equipment as you need it. Like I said, any of these machines can be run 24 hours a day. But if you run out of freezer space, you can't make any more product. So I would like to have Got yeah, a little freezing in there. Uh, I would like to have uh, a walk-in freezer at 15 below. That would be ideal for me. That would give me a lot of inventory. But everybody, uh, but you're not there yet, so you don't need the flash freezer or it's flat flash freezer, blast freezer, hardening cabinet. Three three terms for the same thing. You just don't need it now. Uh, a CB350 and two of these uh, $600 chest cabinets, uh, and you're in great shape. Uh, later on, when the VIN volume goes up and you okay. start selling to restaurants or other yeah, places, the you're going to wish you had double the production. And rather than run uh, you know, six of those, maybe you want to have a walk-in freezer. <laughs> but it's all based on money. If, if you are going to uh, start a moving company, you don't go out and buy a $200,000 tractor trailer. You start with a van and get some business and you work your way up. And when you call me up, I am more Thank than you. likely going to downsize you from what you think you need to buy. Uh, because it's more important, as Nike says, just do it. I don't want you thinking about this for two years. I want you to get into business and we're gonna make you very successful, uh, only, only based on one thing. We've been doing this for a long time. We know what we're doing. And, and my company, uh, we're not hiring people that are going to use this company as a stepping stone. When we hire someone, they stay with us for 20, 30 years. So you're going to get and nobody's on commission. You're going to get people who are going to do what's best for you. And, and, and you want to do what's best for you. Spend as little money as possible. And as you need more stuff, Jeff went from a CB350 to a 24 quart. 
I don't. He maybe he could have afforded the twenty four at the time, but he had other no expenses. way. All right, he couldn't afford it. So either he would have stayed out of business and it would have been a pipe dream, or he got into business and then when the need was there, he had the money, the wherewithal to buy the bigger machine. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, hold this or push it while I load the vanilla. All right. This is working very well. Um, am I blocking all the cameras? Mike, can you see us? Hello, Mike. <laughs> I can see you just fine. Okay. Hello, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Enterprise to Mike. <laughs> all right, save me some for the other one. Yeah. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We've got Jeff's two flavors. And normally, oh, you have it already. Wow. What? And now I'm just going to wiggle this out. Oh, you don't have, okay. We I thought we'd flavors. freeze it a little. You don't no? have to. Okay, hold on. You could also put okay. a little vegetable oil on this. But oh. for the most part... There we go. There you go. Look at that, huh? Wow. Wow. First time. First time. So let's get a good look at this. There. Isn't that nice? So, of course, you scoop between the two. <laughs> you start on one side and scoop Is the other. Is that in the manual? Uh, no, but you know, you're, you're not going to scoop one and put it in the bowl and then the other. Should and then we mix uh, it actually do that now or, or let it set up? Let's do it now. Okay. We'll let this set okay. up. Okay. This is Taste very that. Cool. Okay. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Which should we do guy. from this or this? Let's do it from the big okay. one. Okay. I'll take this out too. This is the kind of guy you are. What? Go, go big. For the, yeah, go big. Go big. Okay, I guess uh, if you come up, you can try this. This is just straight vanilla? Well, it's straight vanilla with a tinge of orange in it. Uh -huh. um, you want you know what, Tim? Me? Let's put the uh, this back, all right? Let's make sure it's good first, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we ready? Well, that works so well. Let's try this. What do you want to do? I'm going to shake this one out. Okay. So look at that. <laughs> and the scooping, look, you get a little... Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It is. This is great. Oh, it's a wonderful This thing. is great. Yeah, Who invented this? You? No, some Italians with cardboard invented it. Okay, this is this is genius. Look at that, look at, Christy. Look at this over here. Of course it worked. Oh, ye of little faith. Real orange sherbet. <laughs> I'm I'm as amazed as you were. I come up with that little device, FYI. You came up with it? Yeah. Really? She also invented the internet.